Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a comedy reaction. I haven't done any comedy in a while, so I'm gonna check this one out. But before I do, if you want, hit that subscribe bell and hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. This is gonna be for Jimmy Carr, 10 minutes of Jimmy's rudest jokes. I've never watched Jimmy Carr, but I heard about him, so I'm gonna check him out, see if he's any good, see if he's funny. So with that being said, let's just check it out. Right, let's try some rude stuff, see if we get along. Lady wind. Queefing. Wow. Fanny farts. The expulsion of air from the VJJ during sexual intercourse. Oh my God. A c grunt. There are two main responses when a queef occurs. Some couples, it doesn't matter how gnarly or squelchy the noise, they deny the queef. Did you hear anything? No, I didn't hear anything. And they move on. Some couples, it's a funny little noise, they have a little giggle, they move on. Not a problem. I like to go a third way. I like to pretend the vagina is talking to me. <laughs> What's that? There's a boy trapped down a well. I like to think of myself as the vagina whispering. Oh my God. You get a phone call. The Scottish lady getting a phone call. I imagine the drugs were arriving any moment. Huh. All right. You switched it off and it rang anyway. Well, I'm not buying that fucking story. Don't worry, it's okay. It's only a phone. Don't feel bad. It's a what, sorry? It's a late alarm to come and see me. Or come and see me an hour fucking late. <laughs> You're not the one I booked for the interval, are you? Are you all familiar with the Spider-Man? Yes? <laughs> the sexual practice. Oh my God. Don't panic, I'll explain. The Spider-Man is a sexual practice whereby you're making love to a woman from behind. That's key to this operation. You're just about to arrive. You've got your happy face on. You look like a turtle shitting. You pull out to catch Spider-Man. Oh my God. I realise many of you are looking at me thinking, well, why did he tell us that? That sounds horrible. It sounds very aggressive, not very romantic and loving, but the reason I'm telling you is because men are such bad communicators, especially at times of high emotion like a breakup. So, gentlemen, I don't think you ever need to have that awkward it's not me, it's you conversation again. I think next time, when you think the relationship has run its course, simply Spider-Man. <laughs> she will either think, that was brilliant. In which case, she's a keeper. This is over, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of men use moisturizer, but I'm old fashioned. I just spit on my hand. Oh my God. <laughs> what did you think we were talking about? Oh, come on, don't give me that look. We've all been there. Come on, love, the film starts in 10 minutes. We haven't got time for your fancy foreplay, your expensive lubricant. We're going to be buffering the baking tray the old-fashioned way. <laughs> oh boy. Ironically, buffering the baking tray is the phrase that will stick. <laughs> so you've just given him a look as if to say, I thought you invented that. How does he know what we do? <laughs> Job off the missus. I don't know if you get this. I don't know if you get a blowjob off my missus, but the thing I like about oral sex with my partner, I think the thing most men enjoy about oral sex with my partner is not anything sexual, ladies. It's the peace and quiet. <laughs> ladies, if you've ever been going down on a guy and he's gone, ah, oh, ah, oh, that's not your technique. That's not the sound of sexual ecstasy. That is the sound of a man not being asked a question. <laughs> I was at a party, I was chatting to a guy, he said, what does your girlfriend do? I said, anything but anal. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> I'm in a long-term relationship, but I'm not married. Is anyone else in that situation? 
quite a few but you're timid about saying because uh, like me you'll know if you're in a long-term relationship but not married everyone friends family colleagues acquaintances everyone feels they can stir it up a bit as soon as anyone hears they go have you thought about have you two have you thought about I'm trying to start an argument between us i think it's very rude so whenever anyone says to me have you thought about Thought about, thought about. I always go, what, putting a third finger in? <laughs> I could give it a go. I'm not sure it's what the relationship is missing. Maybe try the shocker. Oh, <laughs> Two in the pink, one in the sting. That's how that works. Sorry, too much. Two in the goo, one in the poo. There. <laughs> that prompted there I imagine that was you madam turning Tim thinking glad it's not just you <laughs> and a woman came up to me after a show in Tunbridge Wells she said I found that shocker thing very uncomfortable <laughs> now I knew what she meant but I couldn't help myself I said lubricant <laughs> are you all aware of what snowballing is the sexual practice snowballing yeah. one blade there who was that down there quite proud of that well done Everyone else, none the wise. Okay, well, I'll explain. It says something about you. <laughs> Snowballing is a sexual practice where having administered oral sex, your partner doesn't spit or swallow so much as return to sender via a kiss. <laughs> oh, you're looking shocked and appalled as I explain that to you. Let me assure you, I found out the hard way. Okay. And it does raise an interesting moral dilemma. Should you spit or swallow? <laughs> well, if you really love yourself, Oh, God. <laughs> so I can see some friends of mine up there. And you're explaining that to your mum. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, what a brilliant day out that will be. <laughs> what a lovely drive home. So this snowballing thing. <laughs> Marvellous. A lot of men like it when the collars and cuffs match, but I wouldn't want to date a bald lady. <laughs> Hmm? That took you a while to get. <laughs> Apparently, women like chocolate because it stimulates them in the same way as sex, which I think goes some way towards explaining the popularity of the chunky Kit Kat. <laughs> I've never found chocolate to be an aphrodisiac. The only way a chocolate bar is going to help my sexual performance is if I use it as a splint. <laughs> or bait. friend that took me to one side recently he said what does it mean if on a first day a girl puts a cheeky finger up your bum whilst fellating you i said it means there's going to be a second date okay. when my first girlfriend choked to death it was a terrible blow what? i finished myself off uh, i know where he's going with that one my girlfriend said to me recently we can't have sex i've got a headache I said I'm going to be right at the other end. <laughs> Do you want to get back to me if you get a painting for JJ? <laughs> That's right, I said for JJ, what of it? <laughs> I've got an awkward question for you. It's awkward whether you're here on a first date or whether you're in a long-term relationship. It's all good for everyone. Should you spit or swallow following oral sex? <laughs> Goggles. <laughs> well, there's a fella there that loves the taste of sponge. <laughs> Now, it's an awkward question. It's very much the cutting edge of sexual politics. I'm going to sort this out for you once and for all. You'll never have to think about it again, ladies and gentlemen. Should you spit or swallow following oral sex, it doesn't matter. Once I've ejaculated, I'm asleep. <laughs> you can do what you fucking like. <laughs> you can gargle the national anthem for all I care. <laughs> as long as it doesn't wake me up or interfere with you calling your cab. <laughs> Oh, quite rude. I'd like to talk about a sex act that I don't fully understand. Are you all familiar with the 69, yes? No, I like mm. the 69 as much as the next man. <laughs> Hope he is a man. That would be terrible. Well, I like the 69, but I don't, I don't really understand it because it's an incredibly intimate thing to do with another human being. But how does the 69 ever occur? It only ever happens when, when the, the man says to the woman, would you do that thing that I like? And the woman goes, yeah, all right, but only if you do that thing that I like. 
And the man goes, not a problem, away you go. And the woman says, no, because the last time I did the thing that you liked, you were a little bit sleepy afterwards. You fucked off to sleep. You said, we'll call it a 68. It's like a 69 by you one. <laughs> I like everything about the 69 apart from the view. The perineum or taint. I like to call it the Amanda Holden. Because like Amanda Holden on Britain's Got Talent last year, it's the bit between the arsehole and the c Hi, I'm Jimmy Carr, the guy you just saw in that video. Thanks for watching it, because yeah, well, somehow... That was definitely interesting, definitely kind of funny. Uh, definitely quite rude um, in certain points. But it's still funny nonetheless. I've never seen any of this guy's stuff, so it's, I guess it's a pretty good introduction to, to, to this comedian. Um, yeah, that was pretty funny. I'm trying to be checking more of his out in the future since now I know who he is. Um, but that being said, I think we're going to wrap up this video. Um, before you go, if you want to hit that like and subscribe. Until next time.